beat the Netherlands by 56 runs. Winning the toss, Rohit Sharma opted to bat first. India scored a total of 179 runs at the loss of just two wickets, which turned out to be an extremely challenging chase for the Dutch side. Here are the highlights of what was a one-sided India-Netherlands Super 12 T20 World Cup matchup. 350s bring up the 179 runs Indian total. The Indian side was off to a slow start during the power play. The early loss of KL Rahul's wicket and an amazing bowling effort by the Dutch bowlers kept a tight noose on the run rate. Additionally, the disciplined and proactive Dutch fielding efforts made it almost impossible to get a boundary. They dropped two crucial catches that might have sent Rohit Sharma off the pitch. Once Rohit Sharma settled in, he broke out a few sixes. And then what followed was the decimation of the Dutch bowlers. He went on a rampage, scoring 53 runs from 39 balls. Rohit Sharma became the Indian batsman to score the most sixes in T20 internationals, beating Yuvraj Singh. Both Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli played a paced innings keeping control over the run rate. Following the fall of Rohit's wicket, Surya Kumar Yadav didn't take long to hit boundaries. India's Mr. 360 and King Kohli brought up a 50 each to take the Indian total to 179. With Kohli scoring an unbeaten 62 runs knock of 44 balls, the streak of unbeaten Virat knocks leading to T20 international victories for India continues. Dutch batters outclassed by Indian bowlers. Bhuvneshwar Kumar gave India an exemplary start with a maiden followed by a wicket maiden. Bhuvi created history by becoming the first Indian cricketer to bowl back-to-back -back maiden overs in a T20 international innings. He also jointly hold the record for bowling most maidens in T20 international cricket with Jaspreet Bumrah. Arshdeep Singh and Akshar Patel carried on the momentum giving the Dutch batters a hard time. Indian bowlers kept picking up wickets at regular intervals. Ashwin backed two crucial wickets of the top Netherlands batsmen, Ackerman and Cooper. While Arshdeep Singh and Mohamed Shami picked up wickets towards the end, they leaked plenty of runs in the death overs. Van Mikkeren smashed three boundaries on the last three balls of Arshdeep's last over. Although the Indian bowlers put up an outstanding performance, the death over problem is still evident. Man of the match, Surya Kumar Yadav. Surya Kumar Yadav has made a name for himself in the T20 format in a very short span of time. He's always prepared from the get-go to unleash his armory of shots. India's Mr. 360 brought up his 10th T20 International 50 in style with a sixer on the last ball. He scored with a strike rate of over 200. Sky is on a roll in the year 2022. He won his fifth Man of the Match award. That's the second most for an Indian in a calendar year in T20 Internationals and the year still isn't over. If you look at his performance in T20 internationals in 2022, Sky's got the most runs, sixes and boundaries and also the best strike rate. Having Sky coming in at the fourth spot puts players like even Kohli and Rohit Sharma at ease. With an almost ideal performance, Team India showed everybody why they are the best T20 team in the world. Virat Kohli is back to his prime and is definitely here to stay. Although the Dutch cricketers put up a great effort, in the end, they were no match for the men in blue.